there to play. Hola mis conejitos, como estas mi amor Alicia? Hello my bunnies, how are you? My name is Allison and today we're playing Nancy Drew, Alibi and Ashes, number 25 I think. Oh boy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Oh man, I am so excited to be back to playing this game. It feels like it's been more than a week, but I know it hasn't. Oh wait, I actually want to bring up a few things, which I think are pretty exciting. I would bring this up on uh, my video for Before the Storm, Episode 2, Brave New World, but it turns out I'm not recording it because I've already finished it. <laughs> I actually ended up playing the rest of the episode last week because I was just way too into it and I didn't want to stop. I kind of, I decided to split, split it in half because I didn't want to upload the entire thing on one week because I, kn I knew it would take forever for me to edit it as well as upload it. I won't be able to bring this up. I mean, I could, but I'd have to choose like a silent part rather than having like an annotation going over my voice to explain what's happen what's going to happen. So here's what's going to happen with before Life is Strange Before the Storm. In the video, in this last video that's going up this week, I actually found out that there's a fourth piece of paper in the graffiti page listing what I what I theorize is another episode of Life is Strange. Now, there is actual confirmation of this. I was right in theorizing this because I went to the Life is Strange channel on YouTube and guess what? I saw a preview of a behind the scenes of, of a little section that's going to be in the episode. And we actually get to see the actresses do the voices of Chloe and get this, Max Caulfield. Oh my gosh, my mind is blown. Which really makes me wonder where in the timeline this episode is going to be. Get this though, this episode is going to come out in 2018. There's no specific date, there's no month chosen. But, again, my theory is that it's going to be out in January or February. So, oh my gosh, I am super excited. Which means I was right about December being the month for episode 3. I am super psyched. <laughs> I am super psyched. Because that means I don't have to play YouTuber's Life too much. <laughs> that is a confirmation, by the way. I am going to play YouTuber's Life. I just can't decide whether to do... A face cam or without face cam. I don't think a face cam would be very interesting though because, well, I haven't been getting very many views with Be uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm, which kind of surprises me. I think it's partially because of the face cam though. Because I think the face cam is what's making everything so slow. <laughs> Considering I am using my computer to record the said face cam. Uh, by the way, there is something that I left out on the Sunday video of... Grim Tales, the Legacy Collector's Edition, and uh, I will actually bring that up, but I will have to bring it up at the end of the video. So let me actually write it down because I know I'll forget because I know I did in that episode, in that video. Um, what was it? Beta Readers. That's what it was. Jeez. I did not explain what beta readers are, and I actually need to look that up because I always have trouble figuring out how to describe it. Same thing with my disability. Good freaking grief. Okay, let's get to the game. I am super psyched because we get to play swap a lot. Um, we could do resume, but that wouldn't do much. <laughs> Let's play a new one. It's, we're basically unscrabbling words. Mm. Yeah, there we are. Uh, it's easy to do. The smaller words, because they're usually the most repetitive words. Um. Okay. Me. Out. Okay. Oh. Oh. I know the phrase. I know the phrase. Because this is used, this quote is used in the haunted carousel. Uh, 
here we go. He's one of the nicest friendliest He's one of the mo he's one of the nicest, friendliest, most helpful guys I've ever met. Totally creeps me out. And get this, the villain says it. And we're playing this until we hear a truck. All right, so let's see. Uh, jam. There it is. Alrighty, so now we get to go over here because Tony is gone. Come on. Th this is the first time that it's freezing on me. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. That was interesting. Nancy Drew has never frozen on me. Alright, uh, we are... I should try looking into Nancy's lockpicking kit. I need to find a way to open this lock. Correct the mundo. Let's look into the phone because I remember taking a picture of it so I wouldn't forget. Um, Alright, since I'm done with this one, I'll go ahead and write it down. Here it says file cabinets. The... the what the heck? The vowels are taken out. So every second one. So we're going to start with R Y B G G G um B R Y R B Got it. Oh, and the colors actually refer to where you need to place them. So, and we kind of need to be quick about this because it is kind of time. So, blue is in the top left, green is in the top right, yellow is bottom right, red is bottom left. And I think there is a certain order where we have to do them. Okay, so that's yellow. Oops, no. Yellow red, blue, and green. This is awkward. That shouldn't be the way it's done. So we do Can't red see inside. Why? Figure out how to crack this kind of lock. B G G G B R Y R B. All right. Booyah! What's Tony doing with town hall plans? I should make sure that Nancy knows about this. Unfortunately, we can't take it. So, thank you for your recent inquiry on the status of your proposed land action application. What? Interesting. Whoa. The only thing we can, I think that's the only thing we can click on. Okay. Um. Um. Why can't we leave? Yup. I knew I was right to never oh, like her. Oh, there was one more thing. Uh, what follows is an incomplete list of criminal activities that have involved Nancy Drew or those associated with her detective operation. Miss Drew's and unsanctioned activities are unnecessarily dangerous. And do not serve the public interest. Mr. Drew's actions have continuously resulted in large city funds, expenditures, and drastic drops in public approval. River Heights Police Department is fully capable of managing crime in the city uh, and has proved it can do so quietly and efficiently. So has Nancy! Now is the time to send a clear message that the city's tolerance for Mr. Drew and her cohorts is quickly reaching an end. Dang, this really incriminates her! It's a shame that we can't keep it. Yeah. That is a bunch of BS. What's up? Goodbye. See ya! That is so forceful. Goodbye. What's up? Goodbye. Bye. See ya. Brother. And we have to go somewhere private so we can call Nancy. 
I wonder what our journal says. Because I'm betting it's something new. I actually want to change this. I don't want ghost dogs. Let's see, final scene. Eh. Clock. No. Ooh, I like the lightning though. Heck no, I don't want to be reminded of that freaking game. Nice. Ooh. That is Treasure in the World Tower. Ransom of the Seven Ships. <laughs> How apropos. No. No. We'll do the monkeys. That's, I, uh, yeah. Okay, um, George picked up Nancy's house key. George has a lock picking kit. Tony's been keeping a file detailing how Nancy's damaged her career. She's really got it out for Nancy. Definitely. Oh, wait, have we cleared Done. this? No. Okay, we're good. Awesome. Good. Yay. Let us. Let's call Nancy. Hi. Uh, no, we're gonna, not gonna say it's her turn It looks turn like yet. Tony was holding a major grudge against you. I figured as much. She's never been exactly friendly. Once I get out of here, I'm going to see how serious this grudge is. How are you holding up? It's not great in here, but I suppose it could be worse. If it weren't for you, this would be the worst experience of my entire life. And I get knocked unconscious and thrown into a dungeon every other week. Thrown it into a dungeon. Woman, that was in the last game. We found some of Tony's files. I think she wanted to develop the town hall site. So there's a chance that she could have wanted the town hall to burn down. Possibly. I'm going to see if my dad can help us out with this. We gotta call Carson. It's your Jeez. turn. Nancy Drew taking over. Alright, and before we do, I did say I would check this out every time mm. we were Nancy. Yum. Mm. Go, go, Kringle! I've yet to try one, mm -hmm. but I have a feeling it's just regular chocolate. There's nothing mm -hmm. special about it. Licky loo. Ooh, I really want to try those chips. Yum. Mm. Raging mm -hmm. Infernos. Yum. Mm hmm. Come on, give me something different. Mm. Looky loose. Okay, I'll, I'm dumb. I not dumb. I'm done. Done diddly diskies. Okay, let's call Carson. There's no actual picture for him. <laughs> I do hope there is a picture for him in the new game. If there is a new game. <laughs> I forgot about that. Nancy, hi. We found a list that Tony's been keeping. She thinks I make city council look bad when I crack a case. <laughs> you do. Well, you do. Dad. But that's their fault, not yours. Keep an eye on Tony. I've never trusted her. Really? Do you know anything about Tony's development deals? Offhand, not much. What do you need? My friends found some paperwork of Tony's. It's starting to look like she might stand a profit from Town Hall being demolished. Let me look into that. Give me a call back in a bit. No! Oh, gosh dang it. You've reached the personal line of Carson dang it. Drew. Please direct all business matters to the front. Oh, uh, I forgot. I forgot. There are certain topics with her dad where he will automatically say, call me back in a bit, and you can't call him until, that actually, until he actually gets that thing done. Which actually takes some time, which means we actually have to do something in the game in order for that to happen. <gasps> okay. Was there anything new? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, secret plans for Old Town Hall that's going to be under Tony. Um, I think we need to dig more into Deirdre and Shan- Deirdre and Brenda. Let's see. Hmm. I guess. That's done. I mean, we can't really do anything, I suppose. Um. Oh! Nice! Oh, we don't really have anything. I guess we need to switch to one of the characters, huh? Uh, let's do Ned. 
Because I think we need to talk to Deirdre again. Your turn to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. Oh, right. I forgot we were supposed to go to town hall. Well, let me talk to Deirdre anyways as Ned, because we need more information. What's up? Thanks. I guess Bye. Not. See ya. What the heck? Hello, how can I help you? Do you think Alexi's the type to try to frame Nancy? He might be. No. I wouldn't rule that out. What's with the snowflake ice cubes? They're the cutest. Deirdre sent me to the novelty shop there and when I saw them, I just about died. I said, Tony, you get those and you put them in your shop. Don't think twice. It's a good can idea. Can you get them in any other shops around here? Nope. Only right here. Nancy saw a snowflake ice cube, just like what you use here at the fire's point of origin. That's some compelling evidence. <laughs> Does she still have it? Shut up. You know it melted. Are you running for a new term? Yes. How's that coming? It gets harder every election cycle. People will do anything for money or exposure. You have to play hardball to stay alive out there. I suppose. You're fighting a lawsuit about the land the old town hall stands on. Yes. I'm in government. You want a full list of the suits I'm dealing with? Grab a notebook and clear your calendar for the rest of the week. What was I going got to it ready with the old town hall. There is a proposed land use issue at the moment. We were thinking of dismantling the structure and replacing it with something more relevant to the city. Excuse it's me. It's nothing to get excited about. These things take years. Excited? I'm pissed. I would not want a freaking landmark be destroyed just for something more recent. I mean, that is happening all over my hometown, and it's pissing a lot of people off, including myself. Is the town hall on the Historical Society's list of protected properties? Of course. That building is very important to this town. The mighty so that means destroyed. that no one could knock it down to build something newer, right? Well, that's the gist of it. Well, yeah. You don't seem to like Nancy, from what I've seen. What are you implying? Maybe you're a little too willing to see Nancy take the blame. I know you're upset. But don't forget who you're talking to here. Nancy oh, I have a lot it. of very good things for the community, that is true. But she's also been a colossal nuisance. She's done a lot for this city. She has done a lot. But how many times did we actually ask for her help? That is true. That is true. But seriously, I mean, Nancy has messed up so many times, it is unbelievable. I mean, do you know how many laws she has broken? in every single book. Nancy Drew is the best thing that ever happened to this city. Touche. You are very passionate about this, I see. Let's hope for your sake that you're right. This town frowns upon people who associate with known felons. F you in the a-hole. Why do you have paint supplies here? It is a never-ending battle to keep this place up. I get a lot of traffic in this shop, and I am constantly fussing and fixing up this place. It never ends. <sighs> you wanted the building to burn down so you could sell the land, didn't you? If I were you, I'd cool it. Understand me? What you gonna do? Ruin my reputation? Can't do anything lower. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm sorry about I'm sorry about being so heated up about this, but seriously, the same thing is happening to my whole dad. It's pissing me off. Ugh. Wait, why'd I do that? I can talk to Deirdre about that novelty shop. Give me. Hi. Do you visit the novelty shop often? Sure. I love that place. I demanded that Tony go there, and now she's super into it too. Why do you go to the novelty Trend shop so it? often? We've been having a lot of house parties lately, so I go a lot. You know, it's a shame that you never come to our parties. Oh, I've never bother. been invited. Consider yourself perpetually invited. Yeah, Ned, but not Nancy, George, or Goodbye. Bass. Goodbye. Hi. Thanks. Bye. Talk to you later. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Oh, so frustrating. Police station is just my number one two place for when I want to talk to when I want to call someone privately. Jeez. We're actually not allowed to call anyone when we're in front of someone. Which is a proper thing to do. What's up? It'd be rude to do 
the opposite. I'm turning the case over to you. I'll take it from here. Alrighty, Daddy. Um, let's see if that helped with progressing the game, because we need to talk with Carson about a bunch of different stuff. Nancy, hi. Any luck getting me out of jail? No such luck just yet, but I'm working on getting a ticket home. You don't need to do what? that. I'll figure this out. There's no way I can stay here knowing what you're going through back home. I'm getting a ticket home ASAP. You won't change my mind. Thanks, Dad. It's the least I can do. I talked to the chief. He's not going to budge. Not surprised. Shoot. But look, you do whatever you need to do until I get back. I trust your judgment. If you run into any trouble with the chief, come to me. Got it. Okay. What exactly is Alexi's story? He was just like you, a very popular detective. He used to be known as the Magnificent Markovic. Yep. That's him? Sure is. Or was, I guess. Yeah. No fee too small, no case too big. Huh, I guess I always thought those were just stories. Who knows how true those stories were. It was a long time ago. Can we not talk to him about the fire alarm? What the heck? I better let you go. Take care. Oh! Oh! I'm dumb! Uh, who has a sample? Bess. Nancy! What's up? I'm passing the case to you, Bess. Bess, reporting for duty. Yee. Hey! Until next time, goodbye. Bye! Hello. Yay, that's it. I thought you'd be a little more concerned about Nancy's arrest. I know this is hard for you. I do. You brighten up my shop when you drop in, Bess. I hate to see you so upset. Of course I care, but what can I do? Do you know anything about Brenda oh and Nancy? I don't have to tell you. There's a lot of animosity on Brenda's end. Uh, Between but... you and me, Brenda's still furious about the antiquities of the ancient world special. Still? The traveling exhibit that Nancy found out was full of fakes? That's the one. Brenda broke the story herself. Word really? is, she had negotiated a special with one of the cable channels. But when Nancy broke the story, the cable people killed her special. Brenda went full out ballistic when wow. she heard. I don't know if this is true or not. They say one of the Heights 9 news interns went home that day with a broken arm. I'm what? Sure that wasn't That's her. the rumor. One thing I know, she hates Nancy. Big time. Nice lean in there, that's pretty cool. Why did you close the shop yesterday? Oh, Bess, it's not good. It's just me. I had to let the staff go. Oh, I'm no. sure it'll pick up. Thanks, Bess. I hope you're right. I know the case against Nancy looks pretty strong, but I consider you a friend. Maybe you could help? You're oh, a good Bess. friend, Bess. Just make sure you're not sticking your neck out for someone who doesn't deserve your trust. Uh, you? Because <laughs> right now I'm not trusting you. Where were you during the fire? I really shouldn't be talking about this. Okay, this off the record? Yes. I was out canvassing the area, planting signs, shaking hands, the whole thing, you know? And suddenly, I see smoke and run to check it out. When I get there, the whole town hall is lit up, just like out of Hollywood or something. Unbelievable. That's where my first job was, you know? You worked in Hollywood? That's awesome! Never ended. No, I worked in that building. That was a billion years ago. Uh... Oh, would you believe that back then I shared an office with Tommy Lindenson? He's city council upstate now. Wouldn't Such know a who cutie. He is. Most of the good looking ones are dumb as a big box of stupid, but not him. Hard to keep my eyes on my work when he was around. Brother. <laughs> Listen to me. You don't care about that. The fire. That's what we're talking about. Right. right. I called it in, and then I waited for the fire department to show up. That's the end of that. Who did you see at the fire? I saw Nancy, but you knew that. Saw Alexi, too. Did you not see Brenda or Deirdre? Do you think Alexi would have started the fire? Between you and me? That one's a walking cautionary tale. Uh -huh. What's that mean? It's not my place to talk about it. Sorry, Bess. I Brother. guess I'll have more ice cream. I was hoping <laughs> you'd <Bess>. ask. <laughs> mm. yum, yum, yum. 
so good. I guess I could have one more bowl. Um, I feel sorry for forcing I guess Bessie. I could have one more bowl. Oh, Bess. Mm. So good. That bell is I gonna guess be I could huge. Have one more bowl. Oh, I just got another cow bubble. Cow bubble, vanilla, with cow bubble bubble gum pieces. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's a lot of sugar. I guess I could have one more bowl. All right, all right, that's enough for best cheese. All right, we are going to a town hut. Oh, town hall. Maybe they can build a new town hall. Oh, uh, so we can't go that way. Um, wait, do we have it? Yes, we do. Okay. Alrighty, daddy. It looks like the inside of a toaster in here. Can't believe how lucky Nancy was to make it out. Yeah. Well. That's gone. That's... I wonder who stole it. Someone must have turned off the alarm. That's not very safe. I'd better tell Nancy. Yikes. What, we can't go that way? Bummer. Um... There are no other clues. Alrighty, daddy, then. Let's go, Bess. Oh. No, we gotta go back. Guessing. I knew I was forgetting something. I knew I was forgetting something. I knew I was forgetting something. Why do I keep recording when I'm tired? I do the most randomest singing. Ugh. All right, fire. Where did you start? I know the point of origin must be in this room. For a second, I thought I heard more fire. I think the fire started here. I yep. should take a sample. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, listen to that music. That is rocking. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, the rocket music is gone. Bummer. Oh, wait, before we call Nancy, we actually need to put it in there. Jeez. Doop. A doop. A doop. A doop. A poop. Hi. Oh, that is ironic. That is ironic. Considering in uh, the Legend of the Crystal Skull, we actually had to play best a lot of the time. The fire alarm at Town Hall had been switched off. My dad knows the people who run the city alarm systems. I'm going to see if they can give us a little more information. Booyah. I'm passing the case to you. I'll take it from here. All right, uh, the alarm at the old town hall was tampered with. Whoever set that fire wanted to make sure the fire department didn't arrive right away. Yikes. Uh, all right, let's call Carson. Daddy! Oh, uh, Daddy! I'm so glad you called. I just found out something big about the alarm system. I think I need your help. Uh, I'm at you your do. disposal. What do you need? I think that the alarm was disabled at the old town hall. I need you to look into it. Now that is a big break. I think I may know just the person to talk to about that. Give me a call back in a few minutes. Booyah! He didn't give us any information on Tony. So I guess that means we need to keep going. Um, We actually need to... Do, 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 go over here. Booyah! And we go in here... To put uh, the sample... Oh, 
I need to figure out which accelerant matches these figures. Yeah, we actually need her dad's help with this one. So, one more call. You've reached the personal line Aww, of Carson Drew. really? Please direct all business matters to the firm switchboard. But... But... Party pooper. Okay. Nothing new. All right. Mm -hmm. That's a mm. shame. Mm. Chips. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much change I have. Yum. Oh, wait. No, Yum. I don't have any. I used it all on that vending machine mm. the other day. Yum. Oh, I just realized what time it was. Uh, let us actually go ahead and save. And I think that about does it, because we're pretty much at the end of the episode, I believe. That is, if I didn't talk too much. Okay, all right. I am actually going to take a little bit of a break. You know what, guys? Since I am so freaking tired, I'm actually going to go ahead and stop here. Oh, wait, no, I was going to talk to you guys about better readers. Okay, okay, uh, there actually are two different reader readers. There's the alpha and then there's the beta. I can't remember what the alpha readers do, but I know the beta readers, they're kind of like proofreaders, except they help you with the story plot, any loose ends, any holes, or anything like that. Um, they also help with making sure that the details of the book is not too complicated or too simple. And I've actually gotten some pretty good information on uh, from the three beta readers that I already got. Um, I need to look into that, though, because I remember them saying saying a couple of things that made me worry about my book. Because uh, the book that I'm publishing is called Ashland's Dream Come True. It's a Cinderella-type book. One of the beta readers was actually worried that I would have a copyright problem. But technically, Cinderella isn't Disney. It was originally a Brothers Grimm book, and since they've been dead for 50, no, for 75 plus years, I am able to use that book. I'm able to use that story and help me write my own story for <laughs> Cinderella and in Ashland's Dream Come True, which I think is fine. As long as, I think as long as my book isn't too similar to any of the uh, Disney movies, I think that's what the problem with the copyright claim will fall in line with. So I need to make sure that these book that this book is nothing similar. Uh, that's hard to do though because this book I actually decided to use similarities from two different Disney films of Cinderella, the one with Brandy and uh, the one with ah uh, shoot I always forget her name Leslie and Warren. They're the realistic Cinderella ver uh, movies, not the animated ones. Jeez, the animated ones are a little too cheesy for my taste. Then again, so are the real ones. Anyways, I I really do love playing this game for you guys, and I love Nancy Drew. I will never stop playing them, at least until I get to the end, which uh, is game number 33? No, 33 is Midnight in Salem. What am I talking about? 32 is Sea of Darkness, and I've already played that on this channel. I kind of want to play it again, <laughs> but I think that's just going to be on my free time. Anyways, my beautiful bunnies, I got to get going. It's getting really late for me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, smash that like button like a rabbit would. And if you're new to this channel and you're just now watching this, please go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel, at least while you're catching up with this game. And also hit that ugly ugly red subscribe button make it that beautiful white that you've always wanted as well as the bell icon right next to it that'll notify you of all my videos which are uploaded on tuesdays wednesdays thursdays rarely fridays and sundays i hope you all have a great morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are in the world i am sweet rascally rabbit saying goodbye stay awesome and stay on youtube You know what the, my problem is? I gotta stop complaining. I, I am at a really beautiful place in my life.